It's a traveling newsstand that documents, publishes, and distributes the stories of black immigrants and first-generation black Americans. We organize a series of story circles where we invite black identifying immigrants to come and share their stories. We typically open the stories with a prompt either around their migration route or a ritual that they share or some of their experience of resilience. We publish by creating a series of zines um, from those story circles that we transcribe um, and edit in collaboration with the participants and we distribute them by putting the newsstand out in the streets. I'm, I'm a child of immigrants. Um, I feel as though I'm just a continuation of the story. I feel like just by being black, period, um, whether I'm black American or black immigrant, I'm part of a continuing story that um, binds me to people from across the world with a similar experience. Uh, I met Lasagna through uh, a friend of mine, Al, uh, who works with Baji. Um, who I'm also on the organizing committee with. Um, I met at a story circle that she was having at the Caribbean house in Brooklyn. Today, um, we did an activation at Restoration Plaza and we started by having the newsstand and having scenes available to all the folks that were passerbyers or came into the activity. And we launched three new zines. We also had food throughout the day. We had um, drums, uh, music. And throughout this, we wanted to make sure that we were not only talking about the newsstand itself, but also highlighting the different campaigns that Baji has been working on as an organization. Projects like We The News does is like it gives us anecdotal evidence to certain trends that we're seeing. We're getting everything from a grassroots perspective. We're getting everything straight from the uh, first-hand account from the people. And as a culmination of that, we had a reading and with Julissa Herrera, which was one of the participants, and she shared her story. And we had a panel discussion um, around the importance of archiving and our own histories. I believe that we all walk around holding stories inside, and we all seek that opportunity. It's very hard, particularly in the city, busy daily activities. Um, when that opportunity opens up, such as in the story circle moment, where you have that, that cue that says, here's your comfort zone, here's that area, we will not have judgment upon you for sharing what you need to share. I think when that opportunity comes, it somehow flows out. To me, being an immigrant means there are a lot of struggles and responsibilities that go along with that, um, knowing that you're constantly representing the place that you're from, um, the culture that you're from, and, uh, you know, existing in a place that isn't home. We The News really became a way for me to um, understand my own language around race because a lot of the language that exists today um, I was finding was really binary and it was really from like a, a black American perspective and I couldn't relate and necessarily I definitely didn't feel that it was my own. So We The News allowed me, this project really allowed me to create a language within communities and finding 
different people that felt the same way as I do and identify in the same way. We The News has gone to become a life of its own that I can no longer support on my own and I'm trying to figure out how I could keep growing.